gonna be starting soon. Just gonna make people aware that I exist. Hopefully this will turn out all right. Got my GameCube set up. Got my controller at hand. Okay, got at least one person in here, so make a start on this. Let's activate the Game Boy player. There'll be plenty of story when we hit new game. For now, here's what we be playing today. Armament Tournament, which I'm pretty sure was like the second game ever that I got for, uh, for Game Boy Advance. First being uh, Super Mario Advance. Start from the start. Deep space. On the rim of Bomber Galaxy on planet Phanterion. Five meteors came crashing down. Come in, come in. It's me, Doc. Remember the SOS from Fantarium that Max went to check out? Yeah, 
of last week, he reported some strange fortress being built there. We haven't heard from him since. I can't get in contact with him. That's where you come in. Go to Fantarion and find Max. You'll need to look around first. It's up to you, Bomber Man! Hey, Brent. Looks like you arrived safely. Here are the basics. Listen carefully. A sets a bomb. B activates selected Carabon. There's a Carabon scholar in town if you'd like to know more. Select will open the save window. You have two save files for use. Our button opens the item window. Select the desired Carabon here. L button opens the map view window. That's about it. Oh, by the way, if hurt, come here to get healed. When you're out of hearts, game over. Continue from the last saved place. We're all counting on you. Ooh, they're counting on me. Alright, so the inside of our ships. Let's see, commence operation. Blow the crap out of everything. Yeah, that's kind of bomber, man. Uh, but it's kind of funny because this one actually has a bit of story to it. Okay, so let's see. Uh, save data. I'll use file 2 for this. And let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Right, we can't set a bomb here because this is a town. Yeah, like, this is kind of interesting in that, like, yeah, it is kind of like an action-adventure version of Bomberman. Like, there's some slight... That's kind of an interesting thing of why it's called Bomberman Determined. I think it's because there is kind of some of, like, the, uh... Collect creatures and have them battle element to it. Uh, if I recall, though, actually, the Japanese name for this game was Bomberman Story, which is a bit more, uh, accurate. Mom's gonna be so mad at me, Sob. What's your name? Bomberman. My name's Honey. Nice to meet you. Max never heard of him. My problem? I was playing with my mom's ring when Pommy took it and ran off to the forest with it. Mom says not to go in the forest. What? You'll go find it for me? Thank you. I'll wait here. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, you can tell this is a adventure RPG type thing, because <laughs> they immediately assume that the stranger who walks into your house will help you. Let's see, hey man, could you do me a favor? There's an animal called Louie in the forest. I really want a picture of him, but I fear the monsters. Could you take a picture for me? But my man gets the camera. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Teme. I'm a photographer. Make sure to get a good shot of Louie. Alright. And... Hey, you can have hobbies. Pick... Yeah, Bomberman. Pictures. Yeah, not exactly what you'd expect. Hey, welcome to my bomb shop. I fuse materials to your bomb to make new types of bombs. Want me to make you a new bomb? I would love a new type of bomb. Sorry, you don't have materials. Come back when you have materials. Alright, yeah, so you gotta collect stuff to, uh... 
bring to the dude and he will make you a new type of bomb. your deal, kid. Hey, wanna get out of here? Let's have a Caravan battle. If you win, I'll let you pass. Okay, let's go. Hey, you don't have any Caravans. Come back when you get one. <sighs> yeah, that's some RPG logic there. My name's Fujiwara. I study Caravans. I moved here to further research Pommy, who lives in this forest. I know a lot about Carabons. Would you like to know more? Yeah, sure. This planet is home to Carabons. What sets Carabons apart from other creatures are attributes. All Carabons have attributes. You want to know more? Sure. There are four kinds of attributes. Fire, aka dragon. Water, aka fish. Electric, a.k.a. Pommy, and Earth, a.k.a. Beast. Each has different power relations. Water beats fire, fire beats earth, earth beats electricity, electricity beats water. Special attacks don't work in battles of water versus earth, or fire versus electricity. Want to know about Carabon Fusion? Sure. Certain Carabons can be fused into a Carabon with two attributes. Want to know about abilities? Sure. Carabons have special abilities and special attacks. Special attacks are for battles. Make good use of their special abilities. Every Carabon has different abilities. Pommy can, for example, teleport to almost every town he's been to. Some Carabon need to be set to use their abilities. Others don't. Back if you have questions. Yeah, I think we've been sufficiently informationed out. See, oh yeah, Bomberman Generation. I I never owned that one, but I remember renting it out for a little bit. It's kind of funny because I, I think that's kind of one of those things that it was definitely a sign of we were in a post uh, Pokemon world when the big deal was getting monsters and stuff. Alright, yeah, now we're in a spot to set bombs. Whee. And... See, now we're just, uh... Traversing a forest type thing. Metabot. Now, I remember uh, watching uh, the, the Metabot anime when it was on during uh, the uh, Saturday morning. Oh, there's Pommy. gets the ring. Hooray. Yeah, for, for for me when uh when Bomberman Generations was in the cards for me, at least as a rental, it was a thing of um like I had played some Bomberman games previously and thought, oh hey, that'll be fun to play some more of. Though um at least for me when it comes to the experience of deciding to play some of this stuff. Uh, for me, uh, I got into Bomberman after playing some of the Nintendo 64 games uh, at a friend's house. Uh, specifically, uh, Bomberman 64 and uh, Bomberman Hero. I never played uh, Bomberman 64's second attack, but I remember seeing that in Nintendo Power and thinking that it looked neat. I think 
Yeah, I kind of basically stopped uh, getting issues of Nintendo Power during the GameCube era. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. It's kind of a thing where I'm glad that I managed to get the chance to, uh... Ooh, got a potion. I'm glad I got the chance to play those since, uh... They, you know, they were pretty, you know, decent, fun games. I know some reviews tend to kind of think of Bomberman Heroes gameplay as not entirely the best, but... Has a good soundtrack, nothing else. Ooh, yay! Louie! And he loves the camera. It's a photo of Louie. Yeah. Bomberman here had some excellent music. Yeah, uh, the thing that was pretty cool about, uh, Bomberman Hero was, like, like, it had that very kind of, uh, I mean, sometimes it was a bit more fast-paced, but as kind of a general rule, it was nice because it was kind of a nice, chill kind of thing. Okay, so we've saved Palmy, we've gotten the picture of Louie, now we just need to find a way back out of the forest. I thought I would find it being a bit more frustrating trying to hit some of the enemies because I remember that is a thing that can be an issue is, uh... Well, I guess kind of like that, where they kind of wander out of the blast zone periodically. <laughs> yeah, Hero... Bomberman Hero had a very distinct soundtrack, and some of that stuff is just like, yeah, you hit, you hear it, and it just... It's you like that. Ring. Thanks, Bomberman. Bomberman hands over the ring. This is for you as thanks. Bomberman gets small medicine. Now my mom won't be angry with me. Yay. Finally found you, Mew. Sorry I didn't thank you earlier. I want to help you out on your quest, okay? I see you, Mew. I'll tag along then. My name's Pommy. Nice to meet you. Caravan Pommy has joined forces. I have the ability to teleport. Mew? No Caravans yet? I'll set myself then. Yay! Nuts, Pikachu has joined the party. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, by it. I mean, it, the, the, this was the time when you kind of needed that sort of thing going on. Let's see, okay, looking. Let's see, oh, that's awesome. 
Yeah, that, that's kind of a funny thing, is that, I mean, clearly Blockbuster kind of made themselves irrelevant by not really going with the whole streaming thing, but they actually kind of had a few interesting things going for them with stuff like, yeah, those Pokemon uh, photo stations. And I remember trying out a bit of uh, Quest 64 as well. Never really got far into it just because, yeah, didn't really understand it either as a chillin'. So you want to get out of here? Let's have a Carabon battle. If you win, I'll let you pass. Okay. And now we get to the uh, the glorified rock paper scissors battle. Uh, let's go for. The Pami versus Doreko, get ready. Fight. train for caravan battles, but there's no one good around here. I've been fighting against strangers, and after this, I want to retrain. Maybe I'll go back to the Colosseum. Better strengthen my caravan first. How to strengthen caravans? Burn the grass to expose panels. Pick up the panel to feed the set caravan. Swords are for attack, shields are for defense, stars are for the caravan's special attack. You can only feed your set caravan. Be sure the right caravan is set. Hope I can battle with you again. Let's see. Let's see. Is it something rather than Rubble Palm being a complete ripoff of Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, that that is kind of the unfortunate thing about the caravan battle thing in this game is it doesn't. Uh, it is definitely much more uh, luck-based than skill-based compared to, say, something like Pokemon, where there's a lot much more involved battle system. It really is kind of like a uh, glorified rock, paper, scissors. When um, I was seeing uh, Pekaspre, uh playing this game, which is kind of what inspired me to kind of think to look back over this and play it, it kind of struck me just how much some of the, the stuff about this game is luck-based. Because I remember needing more skill for it, but it, it unfortunately it is kind of a case of, a uh, Just, yeah, it... Ain't always, uh... Yeah, the most skill required thing like this like the this overworld stuff laying bombs and stuff like that that requires thought and planning at least sure and it's just that yeah it's kind of one of those things where they're like hey we need something that's kind of like pokemon to throw in this game to attract the kiddos yeah just throw this thing in and yeah At least it is kind of nice in that um, the stuff with the the Carabons is that they do have a function in the overworld, like with uh, you know, Pommies basically the uh, quick travel thing. Oh yeah, trees. Heck you, nature. Yeah. Oh my God, there's so many of them. 
I forgot how many there could be. The trees definitely kind of show how much more uh, difficult it can be to get stuff to hit with your bomb explosion, unfortunately. Hello, random person in a cave. Is there a river you can't cross? Cut down a tree to make a bridge. I don't have a saw? Improvise! Man, if only I had a vast quantity of explosives on hand. Uh. So, go back down here, and... Yeah, you can just die, please. Okay, thanks. And here we go. I don't know, I think that the, the trees are giving me a funny look. <laughs> Evil. The balloons? They... taunt me? No, I don't know. The, the, the boots are kind of a funny thing that I know that they're like a staple Bomberman enemy, but it's kind of funny how like that is just a thing as an enemy is just literally it's just a red balloon on a string. It's kind of funny when you think about it, because, yeah, it, it is a case that, um... You'd think a character whose entire, uh, character premise is based around bombs would not be this, uh, cute. Nowhere. I think the idea is that you can get a care bomb that lets you uh, close small gaps, and that kind of lets you get access to that house. Come on, the little thing. I think part of the thing, like when it comes to the AI in this game, is. Um, it makes sense that they make them smart enough to, like, avoid bombs and stuff like that. It's just kind of, um, mildly irritating because of, uh, like, it's kind of, uh, Bomberman's attacks are definitely suited for more of, like, the grid-type stuff you see in typical Bomberman games. And, like, when it's a bit more open like this, it's a bit more challenging time-consuming to get it to go just right. Yeah, maybe one of these days it'll be worth having you do a commentary offering. And yeah, right now I'm just kind of trying to have a, a time uh, enjoying an old game. It 
I, I think it does help that uh, eventually you do get bombs that are a bit more specialized and can be e more easily activated. It's just that, yeah, when you start off with the, uh, the initial bomb, not so easy. And I just realized I never got uh, I never got the, the the photo to the dude in Alpha. Now maybe I'll do that after I get to the next point because fast travel is can be a neat thing, but I want to make sure I get like the next checkpoint. Alright, see you later, Brun. For now, exploration continues. Well, unusual to have a guest. You were attacked by Carabons, no? A wild Carabon named Seedron has been challenging whoever passes. It's too dangerous to be outside. It sure is. Oh god, fake treat. I, I just remember re or remember slash realize you can tell that it's a fake tree because it do does not cast a shadow as these other trees do. Yay! Health potion thing. Seedron. Danger ahead. Oh no! Fate has brought you here. Ha ha ha! Will Seedron spit fire up or down? Three guards you win, three misses you lose. Which will it be? Up or down? Thing is, this is an entirely random thing, which is kind of dumb. Or it is dumb. Ah. And I win! By winning a best out of five. Ugh. Mind if I join? My name's Seedron. Garabon Seedron has joined forces. I can provide you with a shield. Do you want to set me now? Yes. I has a shield. Who are you? What are you doing here? Your bomber man, looking for Max? I can't trust you. Get over here? I can't trust you? Follow me? What kind of... Okay. There's an item in the basement. If you're the real bomber man, you'll be able to find it. Now, get in there. Okay, so now we have our first taste of... I just played myself. But yeah, like, we got a first taste of what a dungeon is going to be like in this game, basically. Which kind of follows the uh, the format of how you've seen... Might have seen stuff in other Bomberman games where you've got this very... Tightly packed grid... I... I... was 
pretty sure I avoided that. That I did. I forgot to save my progress. Uh, all right, speed run time. Hello, 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 hello. God. All right, let's let's do the things. Let's do the stuff. Act like I I've been I've been so freaking coddled by auto save stuff. But, uh, I kind of wish they at least did a thing of, a uh, frickin', like, prompting you to save or whatever periodically. Oh, uh, God. Uh... God, that was, like, over half an hour. All right. Yeah, let's do this. Painful amounts of backtrack. Dude, out of the way. I, I, I really got. Like, I swear I was trying to avoid doing the stuff, but I guess maybe I let my finger rest on the D pad a bit longer than was really necessary. Green kangaroo, Madu. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay, we are. We are getting back through it. We are doing the thing. We we are reclaiming progress. Everything is fine. Just gotta get back to the entrance. I'll do a heal and save. Definitely gonna save. Ugh. Yeah, 
I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I might need to, you know, I'll, I'll bomb these just to get some panels. Well, I don't have anything equipped. Okay, get, get the thing. Hello. Small teleport friend. Okay, dude with the. the yeah, you got a picture, let me see. Bomb man hands over the picture. Nice picture, take this as thanks. Bomb man got the sensor. The sensor can be fused to bombs to make a better, different bomb. Take it next door and have it fused. Here's a copy of the photo as well. A photo of Louie. You were good with the camera. Thank you. Alright, gonna get the new bomb type. Welcome to my bomb shop. I fuse materials to your bomb to make new types of bombs. Want me to make you a new bomb? Sure. The sensor you get landmines. Yay! Now heal. Okay, we've healed and now I shall save. going to get back to where I was before, because that was just dumb. Yeah. Let's, let's do the thing. How has nothing happened yet? Uh. Well, at least I won. I know the things. Please let me go. <laughs> All right. Gonna save. Exit. No, not exit game. I want to get. Yes, I want to continue playing. Okay. I guess I gotta, like, select it. Yeah, come on. Yeah, Alright, here we go. What? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I am the best at this game. Yeah, <laughs> uh, burn a few things. Just cause I can. Ah. I'm gonna say in my defense, the, the, the Game Boy Advance SP, which I'm using as a controller right now, I think the D-pad is a tiny bit wonky. Yeah, it's not that I'm bad at games. It's, it's the controller. I'm... Uh, I can 
tree. Yeah, I guess that is the nice thing about the landmines is if you have something that's chasing you, it's a lot easier to get it to go away. All right, we crossing, we we being bomb lumberjack man person. <laughs> I have destroyed you sneakily. I will say, so that setback notwithstanding, and I do, this game is winding up more fun than I figured. Because it was kind of a thing that, um, when I saw Picaspre doing this, he kind of commented about how slow it felt, and yeah, there's kind of a bit more, there's some deliberation to the, this gameplay, but it's not too bad so far. Like, the only thing that's kind of dumb is the whole random chance thing with some of the stuff and at least even then that's kind of just a matter of you, you just kind of have to bear with it for a moment Yeah, this is the nice thing about the landmine is that it kind of acts, uh, the, the enemies don't seem to kind of, uh, see them, so you can just kind of lay it down and wait for them to run into it. I don't know why I... I guess I was just so focused on just kind of trying to present this that I forgot about the whole photo thing. Okay. Um, see, right? That just has the little space. And, come on. Blow up. Okay. And then... Blast that one. I got this. Go here. And I don't think I need to talk to that dude in the cave, because, yeah, he didn't really have anything. He was just kind of like, hey, look out for the stuff. Which I already know about, so that is just fine. Flower things are weird. Uh, ah, heck. Uh, Landmines. Ah, I don't know why I keep reaching for the pause button when the, really the, the shoulder buttons are more convenient. Okay, I guess this place is Shura Road. Yeah. It's kind of interesting to kind of consider how this kind of has to work as a Bomberman adventure game that there is kind of a lot of the tools being used. Cedron, let's do this thing. Huh. Down. You know what? I, 
kind of wonder if there's a set pattern to some of it. Because that's what he did when he tried against me the first time. Alright, Seedron. Let's do the thing. So I'm guessing the implication is maybe that that dude there's the one who's shooting the arrows and like he's trying to keep people out of the village or something. Not a good policy. Okay. Oh, I can't... I can't save in here. Huh. And it occurs to me that the... The layout of the barrels is different. I would have thought that was a thing that, uh... Was intentionally designed, but maybe... They just kind of had, like, a... Like, a random thing for it. Interesting. Tantalizing chest. Find that there. Here, Bobber Man got the radar. Well, if I recall, that's kind of the thing that helps with the. Well, I don't remember what it does, so let's see. While you got it, you really are him. Sorry for not believing you. I'm Ralph, a treasure hunter. I heard about you from Max. Max did come here earlier. Asked me to give you this radar. He said the radar will help you find the boss. If you get the hidden crystal, you will be able to see the whole map. Here's the radar. Hope Max is okay. Okay, yeah, so it's kind of, uh, not quite like the compass in Legend of Zelda, but it is kind of that similar, uh, necessity. And then it's like, yeah, that, that it, yeah, that works. The, it's the thing in the dungeon that lets you find the bad dude. All right, so let's take a look around in here. Did you notice the off-color blocks? I have. They're switches for something. Come back and try pushing them when you're able to push blocks. That's what I heard in town from the old caravan guy. He's at the base. I hope he's okay. Right. Yeah, we've rescued... Yeah, that's part of the reason. Like, besides just being the bad guy, we gotta, like, rescue a dude. I think gives us a carabon. Comic books and health. Welcome. Need some medicine. Also got comics full of good info. Because everyone knows comics are the greatest source of knowledge. I think this is like a Carabon type place. Coliseum Carabon Arena. Want to enter your Carabons? Uh, sure. Let's try a thing. Uh, do, beep, do. Well, that was quick. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I suppose there is a bit more to it than a simple, like, rock, paper, scissors type thing, but that is kind of almost what it is. Oh. Uh. All right. Oh, 
so done some stuff. Take B Valley to Gamma. Okay. First things first. Save data. Yeah. I'm not gonna go down like a punk again. All right. Nasty flower things. Kindly leave me alone. Get money. Acquire currency. I might be able to go back and buy that comic book. First. As is, uh, as is wanting for video game adventuring types, we must destroy the local shrubbery. Commands. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't go back for me immediately. I got money. Oh, we have slight uh, puzzlement to do. Take care of, etc. Welcome to my arcade. One game will cost you ten gold. Wanna play? Sure. Want me to tell you the rules? Yeah. Pop all the balloons you can before time runs out. Don't worry about getting hurt. You're invincible. Ooh. Give you a prize. Okay. Invincibility is nice in this. Because I can do this. I know this is such a cheese way to do it, but I love it. Yee. I forgot this was a thing in this game. <laughs> oh, congratulations, here is your large medicine trophy. Bomber Man gets large medicine. Try to beat the base score again. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing of a... Uh... Yeah. Random switches, random things. This this is definitely one of those things that's like it, it it's clearly just dumb game logic that oh yeah we have this switch in this place to raise and lower the things for no apparent reason and also there's a dude with just like a sealed up arcade It, 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 it's kind of surreal just how, like, not, like, it almost has no rhyme or reason beyond just, like, if it's a game. But, you know, it's fine. Not everything has to be sensible or, like, make entirely sense, like, having a switch for a thing just like that right there. Use a switch to go to the switch immediately on the other side. Still, it's kind of one of those things that kind of shows that uh, I kind of like it in the sense of uh, you can uh, just get an idea for like, okay, how can you make a game? He, how here's a thing you can do for game. Tree can die.
Oh, come I'm... Okay, I get it. It was going through the waking up animation or whatever, but I do wish you could get them while they were, like, non-stationary. Or while they were stationary, my words. Because they were, in fact, non-stationary when they are walking around. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Food bomb there. Okay. And, okay, looks like that one. Yep. That's a fake. You can die, please. Uh, landmine. I'm surprised the one landmine didn't set off the other one. Oh well. Uh, oh yeah, and I guess we gotta go through here to progress. Here we are in our first dungeon. In the game, yes. Alright. Gonna want the standard bomb for now. <laughs> they do a little dance. So I guess those are like just j huge helmets that they're wearing. And I think I'll switch out to... Yeah, give Pommy a chance to level up. Because yeah, like, though, when they get blown up, they, they... That dude looks significantly thinner compared to how he looked when just walking around. Okay, snakes. For some reason, I have this thought that when snakes see you, there will be like. I, I thought they would do the thing of like, oh, they see. Oh, they don't. They. They eat bombs. They kind of look like frickin', um. I forget what they're called. Um. But they're from, um. Japanese, uh folklore. They're like the things that are like the snakes with like a fat midsection. I forget what they're called, but it's like, it's also the thing that uh, Dunsparce from Pokemon is based on. And I think the idea is that they are like super venomous or something. This is the thing where we need Seedrum. Because I think the idea is that when we step on that, the arrow shoots out. Yeah. I'm good at Vig games. We have a bombable wall. Uh, chest, then wall. Ah, crystal. Yay. Okay, so we now have a map. That's yeah, okay, yeah, let's look at the crystal. Or rather, let's look at the, the secret revealed to us by the crystal. 
<clears throat> Here we see more snack. Maybe this is one of those things I was supposed to get the comp book for? And because those doors closed, we need to find a switch. Or kill that. That is horrifying. Please burn. Ooh. Gonna need more. Oh my goodness. Just... Uh... Land mine. Hey, hey, Zambi. Yeah, take that. Okay, so I'm guessing we have more of those around in this room. Otherwise, those doors would probably be open. There's more? Uh, well, at least you're in an enclosed space. There we go. Those things are just like legit creepy. Red panel mean red panel means thing. Sucker. I take your money. Okay. Uh, what? What? What does it mean? I mean, maybe I get a thing that works eventually. Like, what do we got on the map? Uh, I should explore the side on the right first. Okay, okay, for a second I thought I was going to have to blow those things up again. Thank goodness I do not have to.
Huh. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, welcome. My name is Bibbidi. I can't escape until the metal in the boss's room is retrieved. To open the boss's door, you will need a carabon fused from Pommy and Elephant. Use SID to fuse two carabons together. Or Sid, or whatever. Sid is around here somewhere. Here is Elephant. He will help you. Fuse him with Pommy. Hey, Bomberman, I'm Elephant. And Elephant has joined forces. I have the ability to push blocks. Now you can move some blocks. As long as I am with you, you'll be able to push blocks. Set me so that you can power me up. Do you want to set me now? Yes. That's right. Use Elephant's powers. See that red block over there? Push it to unlock the door. Yeah. Outrun the arrows. Okay, so, alright, that's what I needed to do. Good, okay, okay, it's... Yeah, I... Okay, well, first, let's get back to seed run for, like, a hot minute. Just to make sure I do this without being shot. And now I move things. Yeah. How can I use a freaking Game Boy Advance? Yeah. All right. So move that down. Move that away. Okay. It wasn't as necessary as I thought it would be, but you know what? A large medicine can be nice to have. And you know, what? I should also save my progress. I can do the things like this. Yeah. Can you push a block? I don't think so. But I have mad pushing block skills thanks to my elephant friend. Do a dance and then come and get me. Okay. Blow these things up and then continue the sacred way of pushing blocks. Still going. Hey, Brian. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I had a thing where I died and I forgot that I had not saved since the beginning of the game, so I, I had to spend about another uh, bit of time backtracking. Yeah. <laughs> but I have made progress at least. I have gotten into the uh, dungeon type portion kind of thing side of things. Let's hear. Okay. Um. And my... Ah, heck. These things have harmed me. Uh. Should I rip? You know, let's heal up a bit. Oh, 
Oh wow, that sound effect is just not stopping, isn't it? <laughs> oh great, now I have to trick it. Alright, and come on, go for it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is like pretty much standard uh, Bomberman. At least it's more standard Bomberman fare because you've got like the you know, very heavy emphasis on grid going on. Come on. Why did ah? Uh... Continue. So let's keep doing the thing. Although, you know what? Um, I'm gonna get that comic book that was in the town. Because I had the mind to do that, and I didn't. So now let's do do the thing. Okay. Teleport to Beta. Uh, the comic book has information. Like, I think it has tips on how to beat the boss or something. I forget. Yeah, information is in fact helpful. And here we go. Bomberman gets a comic. So, okay. Comic number one. Press A to read. Magnet Bomber and Magnet Base turns into a long dragon and attacks you. Blow the head away from the body and it detaches and moves on its own. Without the body, the head is weak. Be careful, body parts explode. Alrighty then. to expect. Now let us get back out to the dungeon. Or base. Like, it's called a base in this game, but we, we all know with, like, how with the adventure format of this game is. It, it's a dungeon. It's basically a dungeon. Please burn. Had a good workout, Bren? Oh. At least you know you got good exercise. Of course you go right around the landmine. you're exercising, that's good. Okay, 
just kind of hold it back. All right, yeah, I can push blocks now. What is this? It's a fairy. I mean, I already had feeling, but thank you. Alright. Right, and stuff respawns when we leave the base. Okay. Oh well. Just means more stuff to feed the not Pokemans. I keep forgetting I have to, like, actually select it to set it. Can't just move the, the cursor down or whatever. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> This is, thinking about it, this is kind of one of those games where I could see it, uh, if it had been on the DS, it would have benefited from having extra controls to, like, quickly access stuff like, uh, swapping out bomb types. Like, if you didn't have to pause every time you wanted to get a new thing, that would be cool. thing is, I do have the uh, the Bomberman DS game that was released. It was kind of just more of a standard Bomberman type game, which wasn't bad, but it was, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I totally could have seen this being done as like an eShop style game. Freaking fat. Snakes. Okay. I need Cedron for a hot minute. I think it's kind of a, a shame that we haven't really gotten a good Bomberman game in a while. Like, I know there was that Super Bomberman R or whatever it was that got released a short while ago, but. I remember buying it, and I really did not have a lot of fun with it. It was like one of the few games in a long while I just returned because I was so disappointed in it. Uh, I'm pretty sure these zombie enemies made me like super uncomfortable as a kid. Just because it's like, they're still kind of like cartoony and all that, but still with comparison to everything else in this game, they're very grotesque. Yeah. I mean, they got like patterns and stuff to them which can make them predictable and dealt with and all that. It's just, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that's kind of a, yeah, yeah, because that's a, a thing. Like when you have those things with like those sharp eyes, though they they can definitely creep you out. I'm not sure they scared me so much as a kid, but I can definitely see how that would be. 
Yeah, like, that is kind of the thing about the, the zombies is that they do have a bit more of a tell with the hand reaching out of the ground. Okay, where did I need to go? I need to go up. Forgetting to like actually set it, dang it. Okay. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like those dudes marching around are going faster than they were before. Maybe I'm just imagining it though. first. So that goes to the east. to go north. Ah, uh, okay, so it isn't that there's like a hidden item or anything, it's just what kind of challenge do you want to go through? And that one's kind of the arrow gauntlet. And this one is, do you want to deal with this thing? And both are kind of pretty pedestrian challenges. Right, and then we have to deal with the Knots Annex. Hey. Come and get me, you sucker. They actually take multiple hits. Or, yeah, 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 they take multiple hits. Okay, I thought I'd just imagine that. Uh, let's try to hit you with a landmine. I wonder if that sound is kind of slightly glitched out, because sometimes it feels like it goes on a bit longer than it's supposed to. That thing with them rolled up and moving about. Oop. So we continue to head north. Okay, this dude. Do I want to go, though? Hmm. 
Uh, yeah, let's explore to the west first. Ooh. Treasure. But I'm gonna get fire up. So yeah, definitely part of that whole adventure type thing going on. Uh, slowly powering up. Getting extra things. Now our explosion's bigger. Huzzah. So that... Is that up? What does blue open up? Oh. So... I didn't realize the south got locked off. Okay. Yeah. You can blow up, please. Okay, so... Push that. 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 And that. Yay! Block puzzles. And then I think this is where we do the Carabon fusion. I am Sid. I fused two Carabons into one. Yes. Right now, you can fuse together Pommy and Elephant. Fangs is born. So let's get a look at you. Unlocks last door and magnet base. <laughs> it does kind of look ticked off with the with the with the freaking eyebrows. And well, it's got to. Pretty good level up. Alright, so... Yeah. And... Boop. So, this one opens the north door. No, go away. I forgot I forgot. I upgraded my bombs. No. Let's open up the thing to the west, because that's, you know, that's not on our map. So let's see what the secret is. No. First. I'm a heal. Equip uh, Cedron. Bomberman get silver shoes, yeah. Snazzy. So if I recall, those increase our uh, walking speed. Yeah. Definitely useful. Right, and then 
we equip the, the duder. Uh, Bomberman, how'd you find me? So Max told you, that big mouth. Looking for Max, are you? Ha ha ha! I, Magnet Bomber, have already taken care of him. You've got some Carabons, huh? I'll show you how to use them. P-Fang, show your great power. Ah. ah, okay, so the idea is he's stealing the power of the thing to do his super transformation majig. Don't you want to be exploded? Hack! do that with that thing. Ooh. About time. Too bad I'm not even here. This is just a hologram I left. I can't always be there for you. If I have anything for you, I'll leave it like I have here. Inside is the Medal of Bravery. Bummerman gets another heart. As you know, this planet is under attack by your arch enemies. The five dastardly bombers. You just beat Magnet Bomber, so there are four others somewhere on this planet. It's up to you to stop them. You must be quick, Bomberman. Yay! I might take a break soon because that was kind of a nice milestone. Uh, I think I'll just go back to uh, uh, Beta. Maybe talk with the Carabon Master that was there and I will call this a day. This has been fun, but I kind of figure I've been at this for well, almost a couple hours. Yeah. Yeah, 
it's nice to have people around. The dude who sent me out here, does he have anything to say? No. Okay, yeah, I think this is... This is good. Yeah, this turned out a bit more fun than I thought it would be, so I'm kind of glad that it's still a thing. I think I'll continue to play this again at some point, but for now, this is a stopping point. <laughs>